Good morning everyone, welcome to another 15 minutes of music, body percussion with me Mr Martin. I hope you're all doing well, having a good week so far. This is the last session for this term, so we're going to try and round up pretty much everything that we've looked at so far. So up to now we've covered rhythms including crotchets, quavers, semi-quavers and we've used crotchet rests as well. Or using our drinks names, we've got tea, coffee and semi-quavers. Uh, and no, last week we were spending a little bit of time looking at our newer rhythms, so those rhythms in, including more of the semi-quaver notes and the, the crotchet rests. So we're going to try and kind of round this all up now, so finish those rhythms off. And like I was saying last week, there is going to be a YouTube video going on the Durham Music site relatively soon, which is going to kind of just round off everything that we've done with these rhythms putting all of these rhythms and kind of using them along with a popular song. We're actually going to use, use the, the song Fallen by Harry Styles. So if you keep an eye out on the YouTube channel for that, you can get involved and kind of and play along with me on that video. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do our normal warm up, so our call and response rhythms to get us warm up. But we're going to try and use this with the back and track slightly faster back and track than last time so we are pushing the tempo or the speed up a little bit um, so we'll do that before we get on to those semi quaver rhythms right let's get the track going first <laughs> Yes, that was a little bit quicker than what we were doing last week and trying to play these rhythms over our march it introduces some kind of coordination challenges so we've got to really try hard focus on those rhythms get our coordination going but after by well by now we've done quite a few sessions like this so hopefully your coordination has improved a little bit as well um, so this is all kind of part and parcel of playing instruments so playing musical instruments Obviously, when I'm playing drum kit, which is that's I teach drum kit as well. So when I'm playing the drums, I've got to use a lot of coordination skills, using four limbs, doing different things at all at once. So this is good practice for things like that. So if you go on to 
learn the drum kit or learn to play guitar where you've got to use both hands doing different things at once it's it's excellent for your coordination skills right so moving on from that those of you that have been with me before might know and remember the square and we're marching out the square on the floor two three four so right foot forward left foot forward right foot back left foot back so we're kind of making a square on the floor one two three four one two three four we're going to set a different back and track away just to go in the background and keep us in time i'm going to shout out which number i want you to clap on so it might be one two three four one two three four and i'll change as we go so whichever number i shout out that's the number I want you to clap on. As we go, we might add different things like a, a chest pat or a finger click, but just keep up, follow my instruction and we'll be all okay. Let's get a suitable backing track. Let's go for this one. So, medium tempo. After four, we'll get that square going. One, two, three, four. Clap on number one, here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's try number two. something just to get the blood pump and get us warmed up and again just get our coordination skills ready for playing our next exercise so we're going to move on to those rhythms that we were doing last time now our first rhythm I'm sure you can remember we had coca-cola tea coca-cola tea so I'm just going to hold up the cards for this one so this was the rhythm coca-cola tea coca-cola tea right we're going to practice this Hopefully from memory, we're not, not going to use the cards today. So we've got Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea. Coca-Cola on our knees, tea on the floor as a footstand. Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea. Right, let's find a back and track for this one. I'm going to use this one. Here we go. So I'll carry one again after four. Let's just loop around this one.
to alternate between our hands so right left right left and it just makes it a little bit easier to play at slightly faster tempo so that one is that backing track is quite quick but we're going to stick with that for all four rhythms so coca-cola hand to hand okay all right we're going to move on to the next rhythm which is coffee tea hot chocolate tea coffee tea hot chocolate tea coffee tea hot chocolate tea right and if you remember from last time we split this up between well we put out the coffee on our feet coffee tea hot chocolate tea so coffee tea hot chocolate tea coffee hot chocolate tea coffee hot chocolate tea coffee hot chocolate tea right let's try that with that backing track So it was lemonade tea, rest tea, lemonade tea, rest tea, lemonade tea, rest tea. We'll try this with the, the song as well. lemonade rest tea coffee lemonade rest tea coffee lemonade rest tea coffee lemonade rest tea we'll try that with the track so this one we're going to split up between our hands so rest click for that last tea so coffee lemonade rest tea coffee lemonade rest tea coffee lemonade rest tea coffee lemonade rest tea Let's try that. Coffee, lemonade, rest, tea. One, two, three, four. Rest, tea. Lemonade, 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 rest, tea. Last one. Rest and tea. Hold it there. Excellent. Well done. So what we're going to do just to finish off is I'm going to start that back and track away and I'm going to hold up on screen different rhythms. So I'm going to let you play the rhythms. Okay. I'll hold them on screen like this 
And as the music's playing, I'm going to switch to the next rhythm, okay? And I need you to change on cue, right? So as soon as I change the rhythm card, that's where you change rhythm, okay? And I'm going to trust that you're following this. So I'm going to set the track away. I'm going to start off with the, the first rhythm. We've got Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea. And I'm going to count you in to start this. Here we go. Just feel the pulse first. Right after this bar, uh, one, two, three, four. Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea, Coca-Cola tea. Coca tea. Uh, next rhythm. Try and catch up with that one. Here we go. We've got coffee tea, hot chocolate tea, coffee tea, hot chocolate tea, coffee tea, hot chocolate tea, coffee tea, hot chocolate tea. Be back on. I right, get ready for a change again. Lemonade tea, rest tea. 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 Tea, rest tea. Coffee, lemonade, 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 rest tea. Last one. Okay, and stop. Excellent, well done. I hope you managed to keep up with that. So that's just a little taster of what I'll be going through on the YouTube video that's due to be released on the Dumb Music YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get an alert for when that is available. But it's basically going to be me running through that the Harry Styles song Fallen using four rhythms. The rhythms are going to be coming in and out throughout the song and you'll see how the song's pieced together just using body percussion. Okay, So it's an interesting way of using body percussion in a popular song. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. I hope you have a great Easter holiday and we'll see you when we return in the summer term. Okay, Take care everyone. Bye for now.